Colorado, Chula Vista police have served a search warrant at the home of missing wife and mother, Maya Miliente. News 8's David Gofferson is there live outside the home with what was taken away from the home this afternoon. David? Uh, yes, we're on uh, Paseo Los Gatos, the home where Maya Meliete lived with her husband, uh, Larry. She has been missing almost six months now. And this afternoon, midday, police showed up to serve a third God, search warrant there. at the house. The uh, police were seen everybody. removing evidence from the house. And uh, also, uh, the main thing they took was Maya's Jeep. They took it out of the garage and put it on a flatbed trailer and hauled it away almost six months after she went missing. This is the third search warrant they served on the house. They served one on January 23rd and took the family's Lexus, and then they served another one on May 7th and took Larry's gun collection, and now they come back a third time and take the Jeep. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people searching for Ma Maya Miliete, and what happened was it exploded on social media. They heard they were serving a search warrant. People showed up and started streaming it on Facebook. A big crowd came out here, and then Larry's father came out to confront the crowd. His name is Benito Miliete. He came out, and he'd had enough of the looky-loos in front of his house. Take a listen. Did you guys happy to see Maya? Just make me out, okay? We're waiting for Maya to come home, huh? okay? Okay? It's she's missing. Now it's abandonment, okay? She abandoned the family. Oh, oh she not abandoned her family. Don't even give me this so we can. I know her. She would have okay. never let, done this. Everybody knows. Now, as far as we know, Larry Miliete, the husband, was not home at the time. In fact, we believe he was at work and he was detained and he was not arrested. In fact, he's been seen, dr seen driving around the neighborhood in his black Toyota van uh, since police left the location. Uh, Larry's father and mother have been uh, kind of watching the three kids. And as far as we know, we did see one of the children in the home. And as far as we know, the children were here and the grandparents were here watching them. So we'll stay on scene and we'll uh, keep you updated if anything else happens. In fact, uh, we just saw the garage open a minute ago. We thought maybe Larry was going to come back, but uh, it doesn't look like it. So we'll let you know if anything breaks out here. And David, you mentioned that no arrests have been made, but it's also important to point out Chula Vista police at this point have not said that any crime has been committed, have they? No, they still consider it a missing persons case. Of course, homicide detectives are not in the habit of naming their suspects, and they're not even in the habit of calling uh, a calling out publicly that the case is a homicide case. But uh, six months later, we have not heard from Maya Miliete. She had three children. Uh, one of her uh, kids just turned 10 years old uh, yesterday, I believe. And uh, it's just really sad to think that every weekend they're searching for her and uh, she still has not been found. David Gofferson reporting with new developments in the case of missing Maya Miliete. Thanks, David.